Shabbat Shalom. When I first became a rabbi 35 years ago, the people that I would bury who had lived long lives, had seen so much in their lifetimes, at the entire 20th century, two world wars, they had seen the advent of so many technological advances, air travel, radio, television, dawn of the computer age, they had lived through so much, including they had the active memories of the horrors of the Holocaust, the unfathomable loss of six million innocent Jews, as well as they lived through the birth of the state of Israel. This past week, we acknowledged Yom HaShoah, the Holocaust Memorial Day, a day in which we remember those six million innocent Jews who perished in those memories, they are beginning to become faded. There are so many people who mourn personal losses, but as a communal day of mourning, it has lost that significance, unfortunately. Every year, fewer and fewer people attend the programs for Yom HaShoah that we put on, lighting the yellow candles to remember those lives. What happens when those active memories are gone? Well, next week we're going to celebrate Yom HaTzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day. And it's hard to imagine what the world would be like without the state of Israel. Seven million Jews who live there now. Many who escaped the anti-Semitism of their countries of birth. A place in which the Jewish people were allowed to reconstitute culture with such great advances in technology. Yes, it's an imperfect country, but it's an imperfect democracy. Israel will continue to grow and hopefully always be a model for Jews who can be able to find safety and to work through those imperfections to become even a better country. You know, as I think about the people that I bury now, 35 years after becoming a rabbi and who have lived long lives, I worry that they are the last of those who have active memories of the horrors of the Holocaust and of the birth of Israel. You see, remembering these is so important in terms of our collective consciousness as a Jewish people. We're moved by the personal stories and narratives that are shared. We have to remember the horrors of the Holocaust not only because what it meant to the Jewish people, but what it meant to humanity. And it's hard to imagine a world in which the state of Israel didn't exist, and yet there are people who just take that for granted. Two greatest moments, if you will, of Jewish life in the 20th century. One, horrendous implications and the other of great and exciting implications. We have to remember both of them, and the importance and the way they contribute to the mindset of the Jewish people and the world at large. On this Shabbat in between Yom HaShoah, the Holocaust Memorial Day, and Yom HaTzmut, Israel's Independence Day, we're reminded that the Jewish people have always lived in this dichotomy of mourning and celebration of being able to recognize and remember the past, yet have a hopeful future. On this Shabbat, may we remember, and may we be hopeful for our future as well. Shabbat Shalom.